pandemic twist to the rankings. Pitt is ranked 25th. After they beat a bad football team that came in here because they had no one else to play. And I give the Pitt Panthers a lot of credit. Jeff, I want to first say congratulations. Doing a great job with the play-by-play -play yesterday. Um, but I want to start with you on that one. They're ranked 25th. It took a pandemic, and it took conferences opting out. Uh, what do we make of ratings at this point? Do, are they even necessary? Do they have to have them? Yeah, because we need something to talk about. Uh, <laughs> we, we love to have these debates over rankings. And, and let me say this about the Pitt game. You know, Austin P is not Clemson, and not by any means, but they were ranked in FCS. How many times have we seen nail biters with the Panthers and FCS teams? They went out and destroyed what was a pretty good FCS team with the offensive and defensive players of the year in their league. They got their starting quarterback back from injury. I mean, this was a decent team. They went out and destroyed them. And I don't know why Pitt is getting flack for this or that, oh, that's the worst. Austin P is not the worst team ever. I mean, Pitt was just on and they came out and they took it to them and did what they were supposed to do. And that's why they're ranked. Granted, two conferences are out. But I think they deserve some recognition for that win. Hey, I think you're asking the wrong guy on this panel. You know what I'm going to say. I already have them penciled in as the national champions after that last game against Austin P. They were looked incredible. Uh, no, seriously. But, um, y you know, just what Jeff said right there, you always worry that Pitt, they wouldn't lose this game, but they would keep it close like a Youngstown State. You know, I think the spread was something around 40 points, and I would have, I never thought that they would have scored more than 40 points against this team, but they came out, and finally the offense was clicking. You knew the defense would be good, and that defense was kind of incredible. I don't care who they were playing. They, didn't, they allowed one rushing yard and no points. It's pretty good. Do I have to be the voice of reason here? It is Austin P. Jeff, take your temperature here. You're saying they're not a terrible team. They're Austin P. They're awful. I mean, I, I'm not blaming Pitt for anything here. Pitt got to play who they got to play. They probably would have had a better game if they played the blue goal game, get a little more competition there. But Austin P, I think Clareton could have beaten him or something. Oh, oh come now, on. Delaware, you can anything Delaware from was that. worse. Nothing. And it was a three point game last year. Come on. There, Mark. It was a ranked FCS team. We saw an FCS team win they? on the road this year. My question what would have Penn State Austin done against P. Austin P? You still have to know it's Austin P, and I and I understand both sides. Pitt did what it had yes. to do, but it's still Austin P, and they are governors, but they could not veto this, and they should have. <laughs> they should have vetoed showing up, and they didn't. Um. When we come back, we're going to talk about the Big Ten because they now want to play again. Hypocrites. We'll talk about it next.